Now, another entrepreneur, Sarinda Arora, a Sikh from India, he went to the UK and he got there at the age of 13. And at the age of 13, he struggled in school. His, um, he was speaking Punjabi at home, he'd come from India. His English was not that good. And that's not very, um, it's not easy to be in England and not be able to speak English properly. So he, he struggled in school, didn't do too well, and left very early. A lot of good entrepreneurs leave school early. And his mother, um, played a big part using all her networks and contacts in the community. She got him several jobs and um, he, he ended up working for British Airways in a fa fairly menial role, but he was determined to be a pilot. He wanted to be a pilot. He could barely um, afford to even pay for pilot lessons. But anyway, um, the, this dream was not to be. He, he never did become a pilot. And so then he set his sights. Um, he, was, he was doing lots of things. He's working for British Airways, selling financial policies on the side, doing lots of jobs. Um, so he had, a, he had a strong work ethic. But um, eventually what he wanted to do then, and his idea was quite innovative, he wanted a hotel solely for crew. And um, so basically, not, not for the likes of you and I, but for crew. And working in British Airways, he spotted the gap because crew always need a good hotel to sleep in overnight, etc. And so what he did was he brought up, this is obviously eventually, he brought up houses on the Bath Road, which is on the way, it's the road on the way to Heathrow Airport. And he brought some houses next to each other, which is hard enough, had to get planning permission to get them knocked down, more planning permission to build a hotel. And this guy with no collateral, no back, background really, um, even his bank manager, everybody was trying to dissuade him, saying, you know, what on earth are you doing? But he persisted, he was determined. And the first hotel the Aurora International still is there on the Bath Road. It's his flagship hotel and is extremely successful. And um, it's now used, it, it is used for British Airways crew, but he's, he's um, widened that. Um, so, so a lot of the airlines use it, but it's for crew only. Very, very successful. He now has 15 hotels in the UK, near Heathrow, um, Gatwick and Manchester. Very, very successful. And he opened the latest Sofitel Hotel on the new Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. So uh, an amazing character.